This episode of Maine Life is brought to you in part by the Maine Office of Tourism. There's so much to love about Maine. The people, the places, the food. And we're here to share it all with you. Each week, our team brings you the very best of vacation land. This is Maine Life. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. Waiting in the willows with your autumn hair. Oh, lover, I'll see you there. After many miles. Our destination today is the village of Rockwood, an ideal base camp for your escape to the Maine Highlands in winter. Woo! Part of the way of life of Northern Maine is just slowing down and spending time with family and just adventuring together. <laughs> I've had people come here and they say, oh, I'm sure glad the Birches is still here. I've been coming here for 30 years. Thank you very much. You know, they thank us for that. Yeah. It's Maine life. Yeah. Maine continues to surprise and inspire me. After living and working in this beautiful state my entire life, I continue to discover new places and meet a lot of hardworking and interesting people. Just one of the reasons I love supporting Maine Life. Each week, it takes us all somewhere new and exciting. Hi, I'm Andrew Silsby, President and CEO of Kennebec Savings Bank. Come into any of our locations and experience the difference. But until then, we hope you enjoy this episode of Maine Life. Thanks for watching. There's a stark beauty to the Maine Highlands in winter, when frozen lakes and snow-swept woods become a playground for adventure seekers and nature lovers. And Moosehead Lake, Maine's largest, offers a depth of discovery and serenity that you're unlikely to find anywhere else. Our destination today is the Village of Rockwood, an ideal base camp for your escape to the North Country. But first, I'm meeting up with my crew in Greenville to grab our outdoor gear and a cup of coffee. Hi! Hey, Erin! We made it! No, that didn't work. <laughs> hey, Erin! Hi! Good, Good to see you! you. <laughs> Ready to get to Rockwood? I am! Let's do it! Good morning, Hi. ladies! Okay. Good How to see you? you! Good to see you! I understand that we're looking for some cross-country skis because you're going to mm -hmm. go out and have a good adventure today. So beautiful. Perfect. Out. So we'll start with the boots. We'll grab you some skis and some ski poles so you guys can go and enjoy this beautiful day. Thank you. Sounds great. All right. So Northwoods Outfitters has been here since 1995. We offer a ton of outdoor activities. In the winter time, our focus is on ice fishing, cross-country ski rentals, snowshoe rentals snowmobile tours and we do repair on all alpine and snowboards and sell that equipment too and then of course all of the outdoor garments that you need we have a plethora of the coffee shop became a part of the business when people would come in and ask where they could get a good cup of coffee and that's when we decided that we needed to take care of that we also became the information center because at the time that the business started, the information center was only open a couple of hours a day. So we decided that we would become the information spot. In the summertime, the biggest trips are our moose safaris where we take people out um, to go see moose during two different times of the day. ATV rentals, overnight canoe trips, hiking waterfall tours, any other types of tours that people want. And again, just information. When people come here, they can get accurate information to be able to enjoy their vacation. Okay, thank you very much. If you guys have Thanks, any Pat. questions, just let me know and we will see you at the end of your adventure. Okay, right. great. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Twenty minutes from downtown Greenville, we arrive in Rockwood, Maine, home to the Birches Resort. This traditional Maine sporting camp offers both a rustic retreat and a refined experience with modern comforts. It also provides spectacular views from its position on the western shoreline of Moosehead Lake. I am so looking forward to exploring this property and enjoying a hearty lunch with the owners. Hi, Hi you guys! Oh, we're so glad you're here! I'm so glad to have you. Welcome to our little piece of heaven! You guys! What a day. What a property. Life is good. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 
The Birches is a sporting camp, and what a sporting camp is, it has a main lodge that is the center of attraction for the meals, activities, the front desk and all, and then you have your cabins on both sides facing the water. That's what a traditional sporting camp always has been, and the Birches still is. It's a pretty good complex. He's pretty humble because he's purchased beautiful properties all along the shoreline, so we have a little bit of something for everybody here. If you want to be in our rustic log cabins, you want a tent site, you want an RV site, or we have big, beautiful lakeside homes now, too. And that's something he created, and it's, it's pretty impressive. There's relaxation, there's ice fishing, snowmobiling, cross-country skiing, snowshoeing is a big thing now. We have hot tub, sauna. We even have a lot of people, as some of our guests recently were lucky enough to see, come up on ski planes. We have such fun with that every year. It's a, it's a great thing that Moosehead is kind of a really particularly special place for pilots. John. And we have our own airstrip that we built about 15 years ago. So people can fly in here with a regular plane in the summer or a float plane. Big thing in the spring, summer, fall too is our wildlife tours. You know, we take them out by boat, by jeep, by seaplane. Probably your most popular scenic flight time is in the fall because people want to go up and see the foliage from the air. It's spectacular. We're blessed, you know, we're really lucky to be here. A sporting camp, there's so many of them in Maine now that have been changing hands and turning into private family compounds yeah. that there's less and less for people to enjoy. And we like to keep this place so that anybody can come and spend a week on the lake and enjoy it. I've had people come here and they say, oh, I'm sure glad the Birches is still here. I've been coming here for 30 years. Thank you very much. You know, they thank us for that. Yeah. It's main life. Yeah. yeah. This is crazy, I've never seen this before. Planes taking off and landing on the ice. Come check it out. <laughs> Being from Florida, I mean, this is pretty cool. I've been blessed to travel around the world and the country and Maine is such a beautiful place and this is really unique to see. Whatever adventure means to you, the Birches really offers it all. It's a beautiful morning to head out on a few of their cross-country ski trails to take in the sights and sounds of nature. Hey, Jeanette. Hi there. Thanks for showing us around. Yeah. I hear you're really the, the baker, the, the favorite um, pie maker. <laughs> and cake maker, yep. Yeah. So we'll enjoy those treats after a nice little workout, right? Yeah, right, that's right. We can work the calories off first. So tell us a little bit about the trail system. Best kept secret in Maine, right? 40 miles of groomed trails, uh, just wow. gorgeous, yeah. We have yurts and you can ski from yurt to oh, yurt. Oh, wow. Cozy as can be. Thank you for taking us out on the trails. And everybody, we had a sweet incentive to finish strong. What is waiting for us? A pumpkin cake with cream cheese icing and a chocolate cake with maple bourbon buttercream chocolate ganache and roasted oh. walnuts. <laughs> All right, let's go. We burn some calories, we deserve it. <laughs> so did you guys have fun out in the trail? So nice. You have it all. I we mean, do. You're not kidding. <laughs> well, hopefully you worked up an appetite because we yeah. got a lot of food. <laughs> what do we have in front of us? Right here is a veggie quesadilla. We happen to get those just about everywhere, so we're kind of connoisseurs, and we think ours are the best. Well, this is the baked haddock sandwich, which I love. It's one of my mm -hmm. favorite things. And another thing I really like is the Beyond Meat burgers that we have and the veggie burgers. Mm -hmm. Vanessa has our turkey club sandwich and Yum. it's a heck of a meal. Most people eat about half we'll be of it. Sharing. But I think one of the really cool things about it is we actually cook turkeys and pick the meat for our clubs. So wow. they're, people just love them. Oh my gosh. Jeanette. <laughs> oh. Jeanette has been baking for many, many years. She owned her own bakery and now she bakes exclusively for us. We are so blessed. And we really want to thank you guys for coming out and Oh my gosh. Visiting us and seeing what we do here at the Birches. I'm excited for your next adventure. You're going to go out <laughs> snowmobiling with one of our local Maine guides. That's yep. also another big thing we like to do is pair people up with the Maine guides so they can really get that experience out there. We can't wait. Yeah, the, the day is young. <laughs> <laughs> the cake Thank, is in front of us. Yes, yes, right. Cheers to that. Thank you. Cheers Thank to you that. Thank you so much.
At Verlin City, we give drivers a worry-free guarantee on service. That means no surprises when your vehicle needs maintenance. And with our complete vehicle care, every tire purchased is expertly installed by our ASE certified technicians and includes free tire rotations for the life of the tire. And with two years of complimentary road hazard coverage, you'll have peace of mind for miles down the road. That's our worry-free guarantee. Berlin City. One of Moosehead's most prominent features is Mount Kineo, with its 700-foot cliffs that rise straight out of the lake. We're about to get a unique look at this dramatic landscape, all thanks to registered Maine guide, Mac McCluskey, who has a passion for sharing outdoor adventure. So who's behind us? Well, everyone from town. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> yep. We're what gonna go over to Kineo. Kineo's right. got a fire tower at the top, good hiking trails, nine-hole golf course, and uh, great snowmobiling. Great day for it. All right, yeah, let's go. All okay. Right. We're out on Moosehead Lake, 40 miles long, 20 miles wide. Great fishing and snowmobiling and side by side. In the summer, we do canoe camping trips. We do pontoon boat rides. Rockwood has the best fishing right around Kineo here. And you know, for people that have never seen a moose or never caught a fish, we can make that happen. There's so much to do and see. It just doesn't get any better, I, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, no, I don't yeah. think so either. <laughs> and so when you're not guiding, what does your downtime look like? What are you out doing? Snowmobile, fishing, <laughs> and <laughs> boating. Thing. Yeah, same. yeah, that's what I love to do. We're just trying to get everyone outdoors, and this is a great place for people to come and be outdoors. It's great to get the kids off of social media and off their, you know, screens, all that stuff. And you don't need TVs. You don't need any of that. So it's a really great place. This is the deepest part of the lake? This is yeah. the deepest part of the lake. It's like 258 feet deep. The fish are so big up here, you gotta have big traps. <laughs> uh, Woo! Oh, what a fish on! What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I caught a big one. <laughs> Taking in Mount Kineo from this perspective, you can't help but stare up in awe. This region's beauty is truly something to celebrate. There are things we feel around us, Chris Bear. Warmth. And then there are things we feel within us. Exhilaration. Freedom. Comfort. Belonging. Plan your trip at visitmain.com. Every time you shop at Hannaford, you do more than just buy groceries. You support our mission to keep 65 million pounds of food waste each year out of landfills and put it to much greater use. The good food goes to community pantries and food banks. What isn't used there goes to feed these guys. The rest is made into renewable, clean energy. All of it helps reduce harmful greenhouse gases and helps sustain our planet for future generations. Hannaford Supermarkets, greater than groceries. Our home away from home for the night is the Rockwood Cottages, just a short drive from the Birches. But first, we pick up provisions at Rockwood Convenience Store for breakfast in the morning. Welcome to Rockwood Convenience Store, the only store that you're gonna find for about 20 miles. And we try to have a little bit of everything. We have pre-made sandwiches, pizza, burgers, chicken, a big selection of Maincraft beers, Maincraft coffees, 
We should have everything that you need for your stay in Rockwood. And if we don't, if you let us know, we will get it for you. We are in business. We've got bacon and we of course need you're making some farm fresh eggs. for the whole crew. I have you no know problem. That. I thought you were making breakfast. No, you, we talked about this. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't remember any of these conversations. I am most proud of the beer cave that we put into the new addition. We have about 135 different Maine craft beers. I love Maine. I was born and raised in Maine. I came back to Maine. I raised my family here. I'm proud of the small businesses that our state has to offer. And when you can pull them all together in one location, you've got one business helping another business. And I think that's what the Maine spirit's really about. Thank you so much. You're Thank welcome. you. Have a great night. Enjoy the rest of your stay. Thank you. Take you care. Bye. 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 Here we are at the Rockwood Cottages. Behind us is Kenny O. I'm Josh, this is Kelsey, and uh, we've owned it for the past two years. We're really proud of the progress we've made and we're excited to show you guys around. When we purchased the cottages a couple years ago, there had been some deferred maintenance, so we really took it seriously and pretty much revamped the entire cottages. I have a construction background. We actually have a construction business in Southern Maine, and that certainly lends itself really well to improving these cottages. I have done a little bit in the past with interior design, so I had a lot of fun going in after him and just working with him on that aspect of things. This view is so beautiful and the deck overlooks Kineo. I can see myself, whether it's coffee, wine, doesn't matter the season. Each cottage has its own porch with a bistro set if you want to enjoy dining outside on the porch. We have amazing sunrises and sunsets. You can watch the eagles fly by. You just really can't beat this view. As a kid, I grew up camping up here in Moosehead. Her aunt and uncle have a camp in Rockwood as well. We were kind of burnt out from the hustle and bustle of Southern Maine, and we wanted to move up here and work more together so we could spend more time with our family and our kids. And I would say that's just part of the way of life of Northern Maine, just slowing down and spending time with family and just adventuring together. Can I borrow one of your sleds? Can we borrow them? Okay. Yeah. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> oh, this is so great. <laughs> Give her a big push. Yeah, Ready, <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. All right, time to go to the barn grill. <laughs> For over 153 years, Kennebec Savings Bank has been a community bank for everyone. Whether it's providing convenient account access, a quick and easy loan process, or supporting the community, our goal is to create lasting relationships rooted in trust and respect. It's always been about integrity and doing what's right for our customers and our communities. I'm Craig Garofalo, and I invite you to stop by a Kennebec Savings Bank location and experience the difference. At Poland Spring, we've called Maine home since 1845 and are proud to be part of the community. Over the past two decades, investing more than $12 million in the place that we call home. Poland Spring, 100% natural spring water. When you have a history of greatness, you keep dreaming and go beyond what's possible. The new 2024 Ridgeline Passport and Pilot, part of our most rugged trail sport lineup yet. From Honda. After a very full and fun day, it's time now to meet up with some locals who are so excited that we're in town sharing their love of the region. Well, that was a warm welcome. <laughs> Is it always this friendly? Yes, yes, and loud. <laughs> friendly and loud, I love it. Oh my gosh, all right, so I heard your espresso martinis are where it's at. Yeah, we have our extra super cold yeah. martini glasses. Woo! And uh, well, those are cool. You know, one thing about owning a raucous bar is everything gets broken. These are unbreakable. <laughs> so. This is our house infused vodka. 
with espresso. You know, espresso martinis were huge in the 90s when I was, you know, first starting to bartend and have made a huge comeback, so. <laughs> and I'm happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone makes an espresso martini a little bit different. Yes. Gonna add a little bit of uh, shake and cream here. Just a touch of simple syrup. A little bit of Malden salt. There you go. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Cheers to you. Cheers. Pizza Dave's what they call me. I just, I have a passion for making pizzas and really love doing it. Pizza Dave, he slings a f***ing pie. Ooh, I can't say that. Beep, beep. First time ever in 30-something uh, years that I work with a chef that enjoys food as much as I do and loves to cook. We do uh, a big whole wing. Our wings are really popular. Burgers, poutine, different specials. We're running the goofy fries, which is a steak bomb on top of fries. People are seeming to love that. It's definitely a place to stop and yeah, visit. Only yep. in, you know, best pizza around, I'd have to say. Oh, yes! Pizza day! That is a thing of beauty. I think sometimes people come to a bar like this and they're like, oh, everything's just in the freezer. They just throw everything in the fryer later. This is homemade. The specials you guys do, you take a lot of pride in it, yes. and it shows. Oh. Aaron, get up and help me! Aaron! Aaron, you were supposed to cook. Oh my god! I'm sorry. We did. I'm really sorry. We're okay. It's just bacon. <laughs> yep. Sorry about that. Sorry that we woke up the entire property. Okay. I'm gonna make some scrambled eggs. I'm multitasking. I'm gonna start you guys off with some bacon while I'm making the pancakes, but how are you enjoying your first trip to Rockwood? Oh man, it's so amazing. It's so beautiful up here. We moved out here from California about two and a half years ago. We built out a camper van inside of a, an old box truck and uh, we set off to find where our forever home was gonna be. We've always dreamed of having a homestead and living on some land out in the country and we actually drove across the entire United States, uh, all up the West Coast, back and forth and nowhere really felt like home and finally when we made it to Maine. It was like the last place we visited in the United States. And it was like, ding, ding, ding. It ticked all the boxes. It was exactly what we've been looking for and it, it felt like home. So we, uh, we feel really blessed to be here. Aaron, would you like to help and maybe set the table with napkins? <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this episode of Main Life. To follow our adventures, you can check us out on mainlifemedia.com, our Instagram and Facebook pages, as well as YouTube and the new Center Main app. And to plan your Main getaway, check out visitmain.com. Happy adventuring. We'll see you next time. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for coming. This is, uh, nope. Let's try again. <laughs> Take two. All right. <laughs> so, Emma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Just gotta start it over. I blew it. Take two. Here we go. Hello, hello. Anybody there? Hello, hello. Stop it. <laughs> we like, wait, do you want a hug or? <laughs> Are you crying or laughing? Hey, Aaron. Hi. Good, Good to see you. you. <laughs>